I'm going to need the levels that are similar to what you'll be singing at. You don't have to like yeah. do your loudest part. I can just but... sing the Ari. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. All right. So, Sky, get in that seat. Robert, you're going to be on mic pre. So that's the left knob on the interface. And we are just going to be trying to get a good level. Sky, click the record arm for the whole session. And Groovy, and now we're going to give them the signal. So go ahead. So I think we should do the same thing where I'm yeah. playing Kerubino and we're in dialogue rather than you doing an R straight arm <laughs> aria format. Yeah, go ahead and click it just once. Thank you. Hello, hello. Hello, we meet again. We do. <laughs> My name is Emma Marhafka, and I'm playing Susanna in Le Nozze di Figaro. She's the Countess's lady's maid, so she's sort of like the confidant of the Countess. In the marriage of Figaro, there are a lot of sneaky little things going on. <laughs> My service is helping the performer collaboratively create their character and that's something that really excites me. I had been working small little wig jobs and one day I was like, I want to do something bigger. I was doing some research, I found CCM and I found this program and I sent Kelly an email and contacted the registrar and the rest is history. <laughs> this is a very niche but lucrative field and the things that I have learned here are immeasurable. One of the things that really for me stands out is just having the guidance of a professor uh, while you're working. Do you want to check this makeup before we lift off? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think the only thing that I would say is that the line under the eye should be smoother. Okay. Like it's too... I just want to make sure that we help them create that character through their eyes. Eye contact. I think I learned a lot about how that really is the, the soul of what we do. And we'll slide that on. It needed to look like a style, but not like a style. It needed to look like she just easily pulled it up and it was no effort was put into it. Does it feel okay? Mm -hmm. I feel specifically with the wig, it adds a lot of character with all the bouncing. It makes me just feel super playful and, um, you know, Susanna's constantly running around. So kind of having that extra energy added helps me always, you know, Keep in mind to keep things light. So I'm putting on the underpinnings, starting off with the petticoat, which is a modified version of what they actually would have worn during this time period. We almost were tempted to do like a corset lacing race with the wardrobe crew to see how fast. <laughs> that would have been so funny. <laughs> and then, then we realized how many, like we had six new people who've never laced a corset ever. And we're like, yeah, let's not do that to them. <laughs> it's important to make sure like, even though she has to be in correct period garment, she still has to perform. <laughs> All right, in tune. Yeah, does it feel okay? Feels good. A big part of this role is stamina, both through acting and through singing, especially doing it in a corset and a mask. That was um, a big learning experience. <laughs> yeah, so, 
breathe and not feel like you're dying. Yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All our checklists. <laughs> I do not want to mess up Madison and Kelly's fabulous work. <laughs> and then this is actually not a full dress, though it looks like that on stage. It's actually a skirt and bodice that is attached by these little loops to help hold it up so the performer can move around freely without <laughs> feeling like the skirt's gonna fall down. We have like two sets of closures. One is a snap and the other one is a hook and bar to help keep something happens and like a closure pops off, there's a fail safe so it doesn't come completely off on stage. All right, how does that feel? Feels great. Got your little modesty <laughs> panel. Again, I'll let Madison step in. Um, okay. I think I'm good. Takes you immediately to that place. It, especially with the corset, it informs how you stand and how your arms move. And, um, yeah, I feel like I'm her again. <laughs> Oh, my God. 